We're seeing the pre-bands there say it's coming out with Cigar, and we've got a Cavacci as well respected on the side of Eldo. Yeah, very two respected units. Kovacci sets up a lot of the things that Bafix like to play with. We don't see that uh, Tian Leng being removed, so that is still a possibility in there. Eldo go with comfortable picks right away. Valagil, so I would like to... I think I will see a lot of Valagil kind of uh, Chandra units on the side of Eldo, whereas Bafix might go completely different. Already locking in the Tian Leng. A little bit early, there's nothing for the Tian Leng to counter as of yet, but we have the Tian Leng plus that more being locked in. Yeah, and we're seeing the Water Twin Angels made a real come up so far during the SWC seasons in a lot of the different regions. That speed lead and everything else that it has in its box that it can basically apply to all the monsters. Smice are coming out as well. Good with the silences on the side of Pafix right now, but that's a very strong counter. <laughs> yeah, the Hay Gang is absolutely strong counter. Plus, once again, that Julian is in there. There's already armor break set up for it. There's not too much sustain on the side of Pafix at this moment, whereas Aldo is showing two units that already have a slight healing. Is Aldo going to go more for the Bruce side to try to sustain out this match? Let's see. Yeah, he's got those final two picks now to decide how he's going to pivot around that because the, that Julian, we can know how much damage has come out. And at the moment, there is one defense break from that TNL. Like, wow, we're seeing the Angela and we're seeing a Ragdoll come out. He is going to bruise. He's definitely going to go for a bruiser, but it also kind of shows that you probably do have to ban that Tian Leng if the current setup is staying as it is. So Pafix right now has to go for, okay, do you want to add more damage or do you want to add in into the bruiser as well? If you add into the bruiser right now as well, you're still struggling with what are you going to kill? Actually goes for a Chao. Very interesting pick right there. Yeah, definitely interesting. I mean, right now the bans then say you're calling out Tian Lang early, but on the side of Elder, do you get rid of the Ragdoll or is it something that has to stay in? I would probably remove that Angela or the Velagil because those are really good sustainers with that immunity with everything. No, actually we removed the, the sustain from the Smicer. Wow, Chow and Smicer being taken out then in speed lead for both Pafix and Eldo. It's our Europe preliminary quarterfinals. Day number two, match one, set one between Pafix and Eldo. Let's see who can get that first upper hand in this competition. It's going to be crucial for them to try and get it. And those Twin Angels are going to be able to go first. And who are you boosting up? It's interesting to see if you boost something up right now, Tia Lang will get a turn. So Tia Lang does get his turn. We first have the more. More doesn't really provide enough strips as you would like to see. Also, the Velaju is moving next. So if you go for a skill two right now, I think it is fine because the Hay Gang would move after. Yeah, right now Velajul does have the option to obviously go through and get some immunity on the side of Eldo. But saving that S2 from Tian Lang is going to be dangerous in the long run. Oh, does get an additional turn and does manage to land that armor break on that Tian Leng. And we have a Ragdoll moving pretty quickly after that. Doing a little bit of extra chip damage into the Tian Leng. Yeah, Hagan coming out right now. Can you get some glancings on the side? Does get it and Julian is going to take that turn. Are you going to be able to stun? Yeah, I would definitely go for the stun. But if you stun that Ragdoll, you also do take a little bit of damage yourself. Stuns it also does take that additional turn. So next turn will already have that skill 2 once again. Yeah, skill 2 is... Ready up for Julian next time. Goes for the skill two with that Tian Lang. No stuns right there. No stuns right there, but also the Ragdoll is looking dangerously low. Plus the Tian Lang is also taking an additional turn right now. We are going to see a little bit of protection coming in from the side of Aldo right now with these two units that are coming up. Yeah, he's got the Twin Angels going right now. He is going to be able to put up some shields, a bit of healing on that side as well. And the Villager can look to cleanse everything, so no more glancing on the field. Yeah, no more glancing on the field. And also that Velojo once again takes an initial turn. Has a chance for that armor break. This time the Ragdoll will take a turn because there's no way to get rid of the immunity anytime soon. And there's no stuns for the Julian in that position. No, it isn't. Velojo coming in clutch actually getting these additional turns. Making sure that defense break is staying permanently on the Tian Lang. He's targeting it right now. And on the side of Pafix, he has to get rid of that Ragdoll soon. No, or changing it up. Well, you can leave the Ragdoll in for last. It is not a big issue, but also where that Velagio is taking a lot of additional turns, so is that Tian Lang. And the Tian Lang is actually getting rid of the armor break. That is the most perfect additional turn cycle from both sides that we have seen so far. So in this case, we can go for some AoE stuns. We can go for full time increases. Does go for the cool time increase. Once again, back to that Velagio. Velagio once again has punishment. Another armor break landing right there. Yeah, another arm break, and he's not looking healthy, that Tian Lang, right now at the moment. And more, even though only skill one actually available right now, so can't be stripping anytime soon. Yeah, can't be stripping. Same for that Hei Gang. No strips as of so far. This skill one is not going to be doing all too much. Tian Lang does manage to get a turn in. Does go for skill one. Doesn't manage to do enough damage to kill it. No, and he's probably going to be going out the next turn anyway with that additional damage over time on top of him at the moment as well. Ragdoll. 
<sighs> Say, it's crazy. If Tian Lang goes off the field, Julian needs to be starting to apply some damage. Yeah, absolutely. And the big issue is it's just that Angela. And Angela next to a Ragdoll just gives Angela that many turns. And every time there's a shield, you hit into the shield, you do damage on your own team. It's just so difficult to get rid of a team that Aldo is showing right now. Yeah, it's really hard for him. But Julian maybe can answer with some additional turns. But getting a stun there on that hair gang is going to be helping out Eldo even longer to prevent it. Yeah, plus we have Felaju once again coming on with the punch, but does manage to land on the wrong element. Does also land that armor break right there. So uh, definitely has to go for that stun on that ragdoll. Does manage to stun the ragdoll, but there's just not enough sustain on the side of Pathex with that hay gang on the field that is actually not doing too much in this kind of matchup. No, I think Velajul is probably nearly 80% or 100% with those defense breaks, say, as well. He's landing it every time, and it's setting up the danger on Pathic's side. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And also, that is a big issue as well. You do do damage to your enemy, but there's reflex from the Ragdoll. There's reflex from the Angela the moment that you hit any shields. The, the Twins Angel also provide a shield, so there's just so many options for you to do damage to yourself. Velajul, or uh, the... Velajul is going to be gone to that Julian proc right there. But then again, there's no healing kind of unit on that Hay Gang. If the Hay Gang was any kind of sustain or heal unit, it would have been a very different match, I think. Ragdoll also taking its additional turns of its own. Yeah, he's really a core unit in this composition that Eldo has put together for Pathix right now. Like you said, there's no sustain. So it's just going to be chipping away now with all of the sustain coming out from Eldo's side. That's just prolonging it, really. Yeah, absolutely. I really do think that the Angela next to a Ragdoll is a formidable comp. It's insanely strong. It's very hard to deal with. You just see, like, your, your own units disappear themselves. And that is a victory for Eldo. You can see there then, say, we were saying it before just at the end. Obviously, from the qualified season picks, Eldo wasn't using that Ragdoll in the top five picks. Right now, it was a key part of that composition. Do you have to respect it and pre-ban it out? Well, the thing is... Yeah, there's good odds that Tian Lang will be pre banned in this scenario, or Eldo just simply doesn't care about the Tian Lang. That's also an option, but I would definitely respect that Ragdoll. Yeah. Oh, we're going for a Vela Jewel instead there, right then. And that Tian Lang does come out as well, say. So, is there a similar comp do you think Eldo's built around specifically for Pathix? Well, I do think that the Ragdoll will definitely show up right now because the Tian Lang is off the field and Ragdoll is just open. I do think Pathix will probably go towards the Cigar because that's also a unit that Eldo likes to use right now. So the Cigar is gone, the Vela Jewel is gone. There could still be like a Chandra kind of setup that Eldo likes to work with, or maybe he goes back to the Water Twins Angels. Yeah, it's securing an early speed lead, at least for the side of Eldo, if he does go for it. And we do see it there, partnered again with the Smicer that was banned out that last round, but can be a nuisance. Yeah, absolutely. That Vanessa, Kovaci, that is the kind of units that Pavix really likes to play with. Because in then in the slot 4 and 5, he can go for the Julian or another high damage dealer. So this draft is a lot lo or looking a lot more favorable for Pavix in this position. However, Aldo can still rock that Ragdoll in the slot 4 five, or, or in the 3, 4 or 5. So let's see what kind of bruises he goes for. Or actually goes for semi-speed with that Asher, but then still bruise it with the Ragdoll. He's always having some form of sustain on some of the units that are coming through, apart from that Ragdoll, obviously, as well, they say. Pathix right now only has that skill one coming out from the Kavachi. Do you think he's just going to keep going for the damage? Well, the thing is, if you add in two damage dealers right now, you might be a little bit low on sustain. But if you add one damage dealer, one sustain unit, you might be very low on the damage as well. So he does decide to lock in two damage dealers. And I do think that is the right move. Yep, so now Eldo has that last pick at the moment. Is he going to be doing something similar with the comp from last time? He could definitely lock in Angela here, but I think in the previous comp with that Valid Jewel, with the protection of that Valid Jewel, it was working a little bit better because in this case, he doesn't have any form of immunity yet. He could be maybe looking at it in the form of immunity, let's say a Wusa and then banning out the Cigar. Ooh. Actually, does lock in the Chao, which was previously uh, banned on the side of Pathix. Wow, so we've seen Chow in two set drafts so far. That's maybe a first for us. Who do you like for the bands? I would probably say that the Kovachi is that immunity on the left side. On the right side, maybe get rid of the Ragdoll because that's still providing a lot of turns. Yeah, it might be. And the more turns that he can take, the more use he can make out of people like a Smicer on that side, getting those silences out and preventing anything on the side. Actually, it's going to be a Smicer, so both Puppeteers have been taken out from the draft right now. Likely speed leads are going to be taken for both Pafix and Eldo. It's our Europe preliminary quarterfinals, set number two between Pafix and Eldo, who does currently have the upper hand. Can Pafix look to bring it back all square in this particular set? Say, taking that first one is going to be Escher, and you can look to boost up your team. 
Yeah, you're gonna be looking at uh, boosting your team, and then also with the Twins Angels, you're going to be trying to snipe something out. But there's that Vanessa, so you can't fully snipe something out, but you might be able to kill that Vanessa by itself. Yeah, let's see if he can get the strip on there, and he does get the strip as well right now, so it's gonna leave Chow with that skill too if he wants to get a lot of damage through. It will do a decent amount of damage, but Chow does a lot more damage the moment that some units are already dead. Even on the Marsha, did half HP. It's not an insane amount. But let's see where the Julian can now place his damage. There was no armor break on anything uh, whatsoever. Is he going to focusing, be focusing the Chow that early, or does he first chip away the other units, which are probably easier to kill? Yeah, going in for that Escher, getting the stun, and then it'll set up for the defense break on it. Ooh, with the additional turn, is it enough? Not quite. Not quite enough, but that is already a lot of damage. Sure, we still have that uh, Chow just taking its regular turns, but Chow isn't doing all too much. And often when oh. Chow is drafted, you feel like, ah, Chow can solo something. It can happen, but we have to see until the end of the match if we actually are going to get to that point. Yeah, exactly. We were speaking about yesterday confirming kills. Vanessa couldn't quite do it, but Julian comes in clutch for him right there. He, he needs to keep that Marsha on the beast if possible, but maybe you take it out now. Yeah, I do think he would take it out. Takes it out with a skill one, skill two is not necessary for that one. Can go for AoE stuns here, but it is quite difficult to land. Marsha still has immunity. There is a wrong element on the other side and actually managed to not land anything on it. Armor break chance on the Chow, once again, did not succeed. Yeah, he's trying to get it for that skill two of Julian to really plow some damage right in there. So he's just going to do the skill one. Oh, gets the additional turn anyway right now, but it seems like he's focusing into that Chow. A good idea? Uh, it is a good idea if you can take it off the field. It's one of those hindsight ideas. Like, if it works out, it was a great idea. If it doesn't work out, it's a bad idea. So I do like his chances if he can actually take it down. Because the moment that Chow is gone, there's not too much threat anymore on the side of Eldo. Yeah, exactly. And right now, Marsha will be taking that next turn. And if you were to kill it, it's going to be revived from Vanessa. Can you crit? Does crit. Does go Ooh. for the Chow. Does do a 19.5k taking out that Chow. Once again, like we mentioned, Chow feels sometimes like, oh, it feels unkillable. There's nothing too much that can hit the Chow. Julian, skill two, half HP. Marsha, skill uh, two. Pretty much killing the unit straight up, and there's still that Vanessa passive. So we do have Marsha coming back. I am pretty sure that Marsha doesn't have skill two at this position, but there's just not too much going on for the draft of Aldo at this position. No, it isn't. Julian didn't have that skill two there to maybe be able to take out the Ragdoll fully, but just focusing into that Ragdoll knowing it's the only thing that could maybe help Eldo out in the future of this match. Yeah, absolutely. If we land this armor break right oh. now, I'm pretty sure we can call it match. Skill 3 on that cigar. Oh. Resetting all of the attack bars. Another armor break placed on the unit on the right. <laughs> 20k per hit. That is just so much damage. That one was Julian all the time looking for. Set me up with an armor break and I'll take a unit out. And that gives a one-to-one -one with a victory for Pafix. Yeah, you can see there, say, that Pafix brought along in the end three defense breakers for that Julian. So that Julian was just having fun with all the armor breaks going around, skill twoing into them and trying to delete as much as possible. Obviously, Eldo will know that and we're seeing the pre-bans now coming out of that cigar and of the Kavachi right now. But is it something he has to consider going into this next set? Well, actually, I think I already considered in the first match that Valigil first pick denies a lot of the armor break potentials. And I wouldn't be surprised if he goes back for that Valigil first pick for that exact reason. Ooh. However, Bafix is learning while we're playing, and I love to see that. Goes for the steal on the Water Twins Angel, so Aldo can't play with that. Plus, it is a great setup for an armor break for Julian, well paired with that. Yeah, exactly. We're saying it. The defense breaks are further out on that field. Julian is going to be doing the damage. So right now, Eldo looking to respond again with a Smicer coming out. And this time, partnering up with the Chandra. So you've got Chandra and Velodule, part of the Holy Trinity at the moment in Summoner's War, say. Yeah, absolutely. And that Smicer has been picked three times so far. Last two times didn't make it to the battlefield. So it's absolutely a unit that Bafix doesn't like to play against. But let's see what he goes this time in the slot three and four. Last time we had something along the lines of a Hei Gang plus a Tian Leng. Maybe a little bit early. So I do like, ooh, I'm really liking that. Riley plus a Dominic. Dominic is one of those units that a lot of people kind of sleep on. It was nerfed. It's not as great anymore. Trust me, if you put the right runes to a Dominic, it has attack buff. It is going to shred through units like a Velajul. Yeah, let's find out then how Eldo is going to respond there right now. Does he continue with some Bruiser? He can see the damage output on the side of Pafix already, say. But he's going to consider the full amount of time to see if he's locking that in. Oh, we're going to see a gap. Gapsu Ragdoll. 
Capsule Racto, absolutely formidable, very strong combination. But we have that Tian Lang. In this case, I wouldn't be surprised if the Tian Lang leaves the battlefield. But on the other side, you kind of still have to respect either the Cups or the Ragdoll. Yeah, because they are going to be taking a hell of a lot of turns if the healing is staying on the side of Pafix as well with that Gapsu. So let's find out exactly who they're going to be banning. It is the mental games right now. Do you leave one in? Do you take one out? Not knowing, in hindsight, it's a beautiful thing, right? You can then say after, yep, yeah, I should have done this. But in the moment right now, we're seeing a Riley out and we're seeing a Smicer out as well at the moment for this match. Likely to be taking the speed leads, then going through in to um. Europe preliminary quarterfinals, set number three now between Pafix and Eldo. It's all square. Who can bring it now up to 2 1 and be one step closer to those semi finals? Say, taking that first turn is going to be the Twin Angels. Can they get a strip and set up for something? Yeah, you have to get a strip and that armor break and that push up, push to up. Ooh. Ooh, does land the armor break. But in this case, are you going to do too much damage while your enemy moves? Your enemy moves because oh. the Tian Lang was actually faster. If the Julian would have gotten its turn in, it would have been so much more. Probably an insta kill or at least a quite good potential at the insta kill. But in this case, the Tian Lang actually did backfire for taking that turn and critting on the enemy. Exactly, and he's not going to be able to get a defense break out on the side of Eldar anytime soon. Oh, he's deciding not to heal there, putting the defense break on for a ragdoll hit. Yeah, definitely going for the ragdoll hit, but also pairing that up with, in this case, a branding. So you have the branding plus a defense break. That's going to be a lot of damage from that ragdoll coming in right now. Yeah, and he's going to be taking a turn because of the crits. Oh, Dominic does cut in. Can he get through that Chandra? That is a decent amount of damage to the Chandra, but once again, we're looking at a similar style of match as we had in the first round. Ragto doing a lot of damage, but what did we have in that first round was no sustain on the side of Pafix. In this case, once again, we have no sustain on the side of Pafix, so let's see how he can try to get skills in in this match right now. Yeah, and Velaju, we said it before, keeps landing those defense breaks and gets it again on the Tian Lang, say. Yeah, once again, Velaju is being so oh. crucial with all of those defense rates. Gapsu being able to land that is... Pretty nice as well. No turn for that Tian Lang. That also means less chances for setting up the armor breaks. Yeah, like we said, if the armor breaks are there on the side of Eldo, Julian can come into play right now, but there's nothing for him to hit. Yeah, it's just so difficult with that Valajul immunity, with the defense of that Chandra. There's just a lot of things going on on the side of Eldo, which makes it difficult for the Julian to get his proper damage off. Yeah, let's see right now. We are going to be getting a stun on that Vela Jewel, so we can set up a defense break right now if he wants to for Julian to follow up straight after. Yeah, but where would you place it? Personally, I would maybe go for the Gops of Ragdoll. Not a bad choice as well. He could probably insta one tap that Ragdoll. That is just so much damage. However, the healing is not gone yet. The Alang is going to be a little bit less of value right now because there's not too much push up on the enemy side as well. But Ooh. it's really going to be the question. The Alang, we're probably going to say goodbye to the Tia Alang very soon. Can the Twins Angel plus a Julian just clear this out? I need some stuns, I would say. You go in for it, try and get some stuns out. Gets it on the Vela Jewel, at least. It gets it on the Vela Jewel. Very crucial target over there. Ooh. If he managed to take out the Jewel... Does he do it? Does this do enough damage? Oh. Double 5k, not enough damage. Didn't have that armor break as of yet. Oh, and the additional turn from the Gapsu is going to be able to take out that Tian Lang if he chooses to do so right now. Deciding not to as of yet, though doesn't go for it yet we'll probably go for skill three over here to just a we slows there's a long turn for julian to be waiting however there is a skill three possibility to set up to try to kill that valajul but valajul probably has the skill three coming in pretty soon as well so for that reason maybe you don't want to use it as of yet but this is definitely an uphill battle right now where julian has to start dealing a lot of damage to get through those sustained units Definitely does, and Chandra and Vela Jewel are trying to prevent that as much as possible. Taking the health down from the Twin Angels. Are we going to get another defense break coming out on the side? No, this time resisted. This time resisted. So in this case, you can go for the setup. If you go for the setup right now, you will definitely take a turn. But where do you land it? Personally, I would probably go for the gap. So the sides against it did not manage to land it. And the Chandra is also not receiving that defense break in the position. Oh, no, but he's stunned out right now, and he's getting him... Super dead close to being killed out right now at the moment, say. Those twin angels can look to come in clutch, but I think Velagel may be... Oh! Another great stun from those twin angels, but it's also the uh, the gap, so just keeping the whole team alive. Going in with that skill too, time and time again. It's just a lot of damage. We do say goodbye to that Chandra over there, but it is pretty soon to going to be only the Julian on the battlefield. Yeah, and right now you can look to put some immunity on the side if you will choose so, or just deal some more damage, but it is going to give him the turn with that skill too. Is it going to be enough? Oh! 
double 6k, that is so close. But then it's also would have been a big question. Can you go for a stun? Doesn't manage to get a stun. Also does not have any cooldowns up. Can you outspeed this Ooh. right now? You managed to outspeed it. That is a great one. Does manage to kill it, even though that the skill one is not an 100% crit rate for most of those players. Oh. Is this going to be the armor break setup? Because the cooldown is there for the jewel. <gasps> the armor break is there. Oh. This is going to be easily killing. <sighs> double 20k's. Killing that wow. counter. And that's just why... Julian is a formidable opponent you should always fear. Wow, Pafik's taking it back then. Bringing it back 2-1 now against Eldo. That was crazy. So you could see how clutch it came in that the Twin Angels could just be on the field with that Julian to set up the defense break, right? I mean, Julian, do you have to respect him? Bree ban it in this one? I would say so. I do think that Eldo probably also doesn't like to play against that TNL Lang, but so far Eldo hasn't had that many issues against the TNL Lang itself. Like, in the previous match or even in this match like he was just simply saying i'll just kill it like and it even worked against him because units were cutting in where you didn't really want the units to cut in in the first place so interesting to see if it's actually gonna make it all the way through yeah it's gonna be crucial so let's see right now it is potentially a deciding set and we're seeing respect bands now on that ragdoll and the julian do you like it yeah i absolutely like that that, that unit is just you have to leave it all the way last while it's doing the most amount of damage. Any other damage dealer on the field, you can just start killing it. It is fine. It's probably squishy. You can kill that. Julian is the exact opposite of that. It does so much damage, but you can't kill it. No, you can't, unless you oblivion it. But at the moment, there's been no oblivion units that we've seen actually come through at the moment. We see in the cigar pick from Pafix, and he's Eldo going back to those twin angels alongside the Vela Jewel. Yeah, alongside the Vela Jewel. Once again, we have seen it time and time again. Smice are being picked on the side of Eldo, but it's also been banned every time that Pafix has a chance to post-ban anything. Would Pafix then maybe also be looking into stealing it at some point? Because that is something that you could think of pairing that together with like the other puppeteer that he so much likes to use. Actually goes for Kavachi and then also a Chandra in there. Yeah, bringing in a speed lead. We know Kavachi with the all of the buffs that she can bring on her side as well can be crucial for Pafix against Eldo right now. Are we going to see what he's going to pick, say, because Ragdoll is not an option for him right now, so he's likely not going to be going for those Angelas. Yeah, I don't think so, but Smice is definitely a good option. Juno, pretty decent option. Yep, liking those two picks over there. Oh, we're going to see a Chow again, say. Yeah, I'm not too sure if I'm liking the Chows that much. Like, sure, it has potential to maybe do, to do quite some damage, but even on the against the team on the right side which are technically all supports i think a chow might still struggle to perform like a 1v3 or a 1v4 if it comes to that point so i'm curious to see uh, if that will actually get through the match or if he's gonna lock it in but he's definitely not too sure about his picks locks in once again that dominic and i saw in the last round i'm not sure if that dominic is on swift but that dominic was insanely fast yeah it wasn't it was dealing out a good amount of damage onto that chandra in that last set right now say so Eldo has that last pick, and it is a crucial one because if he loses this set, he is going to be joining us next weekend and not progressing through to the semifinals. Who do you have to go for? I think Eldo would lock in another support unit and then once again remove the healer. That's Ooh. just the general thing that Eldo likes to do. Ooh, in this case, that's maybe even better because with that light monkey on the field, the Chiti and Dashen, he's definitely going to be banning out that Kovachi. Yeah, get rid of the immunity so that Keaton Dashen can get his things off. But is it the mind games where Pafix needs to ban it? Both of those units have them been banned, the Kavachi and the Keaton Dasheng. We've got the speed leads for both of these guys. It's our Europe preliminary quarterfinals. Set number four between Pafix and Eldo. Can Pafix make it through and take it as a 3-1 or will Eldo bring it back now all square to 2-2? Let's find out in this match. Those twin angels are going to be going first. Can you set up a strip? Yeah, it has to be setting up a strip and potentially an armor break. But then again, on the side of Eldo, there's not too much damage. Valadio, once again moving, has been providing a whole lot of skill twos with a whole lot of uh, armor breaks, but doesn't decide to go for it as of this point. Going for the stun. Didn't get any from side of Juno, but now Smicer can try and get a bomb online. Maybe a stun as well onto the Dominic, I would suppose. Yeah, either the Dominic or you want to go for the Cigar. Goes for the Dominic, does not manage to land the stun. Where are we going to place our damage? Are we going to go for that Valadio, just some heavy damage into that unit? Going heavy into that Smicer right now at the moment on the side of Pafix. He has the defend and he's going to look to use it on that cigar so that he can try to get some strips and cool times in. Yeah, in this position, you already tumbled down on that Smicer, so you have to full go for it. So the Chow, of course, not the best target into a uh, Smicer in most cases, but the moment that you tumble down some damage, you actually have to go for it. Oh, getting another defense break right there. Juno, how many? 3k hits on that skill one. 
That is a lot of damage, plus quite some healing gonna come in. Good 7k, plus a 14k bomb, taking out that Dominic. And that was the main damage threat from the side of Pavix. Sure, we still have that Chao, but if Chao is miscritting for 1.5k, it doesn't look that dangerous. No, it doesn't, and that's my set. He's gonna be able to sustain through with the healing from that skill one eventually. So right now, it's crucial. He tries. He's trying to get it out, right? Yeah, I do think that he just simply focus down the Chandra and the Cigar, and then leave the... Uh, Chow for less because in the end the Chow it can be dangerous, but it hasn't shown too much danger as of so far Yeah, exactly. And there's no defense break for him to hit. That's a defense break right now Maybe it could do some good damage There is potential that if he has justice up and the justice would crit in this potential on an armor break Would you actually oh. do enough damage? Misses to crit takes the additional turn misses to crit once again So those are like four miss crits in a row Oh no, and now Velodrum can come in. Doesn't get the defense break there on the Chandra instead. So Chandra is going to be able to take a turn very soon. That doesn't have a skill though. Yeah, it doesn't have skill. Ooh. Does manage to stun it, but Smizer has something to say about it. Takes the additional turn, pushing back the Cigar attack bar twice, plus having a chance to land the bomb right here. Yeah, likely I would say going for that. Going instead for the Cigar, but not getting the stun, but that bomb has been planted. Bomb has been planted, but the stun has also been planted. And we once again, that is the fifth in a row. This Chow just does not like to win this match. No, he's not critting and it's not being helpful for Pafix right now since it is his source of damage that he's got. Since you can see Sagat is being prevented with that silence and the bomb is going to be coming very soon. Yeah, bombs are coming in time and time again. And we're still just working on that Smicer and the Smicer's just... Getting miscritted on by the Chow, and the Chow's just not doing enough. We got a little bit of healing coming in there, no armor break. But we do say goodbye to the Chow once again. Ch Chow, in this case, didn't glance, but he also did not crit. So we, ha we have two factors to it, why he just doesn't want to do his thing. And he's getting a defense break applied to him right now as well, say. So he is going to tumble some damage in to try and get the health. Yeah, that is a lot of damage coming into the Chow, and I think we already say goodbye to the Chow. Chow, in, uh, like I mentioned before, Chow often feels like, oh, it's gonna solo things, it's gonna be so good. Well, one little armor break and three units moving, Chow left the battlefield, so he did not do that much, but it was also quite unlucky for missing all of those crits. Yeah, Elder coming in clutch, then bringing it all square back to 2-2. Two, two. It is going to be our set number five for both of our contestants right now. So we said there how Smicer was still on the field and could just be a nuisance on the side of Pafix. And that Chow, miscritting that many amount of times, you don't want him anywhere near your draft in the next match, right? Probably not. Or he would have had to decide to go for different targets first. Because if he uh, were to decide to take out maybe the Velajul first, then it would have been very different because the Chow can very well hit a Velajul all the time. Ooh, we're seeing a cigar coming out then as the pre-ban on the side of Pafix. It's what he's been staple doing through the whole of this match. And we've got that Kavachi as well coming out on the side of Eldo, knowing that Julian can be on the field this time round. So that first pick, are we going to see another Velajul similar to the previous sets? I do think so. He really likes that immunity setup against the Julian. And I also really like the uh, Pafix taking that Water Twins Angel for the setup for that Julian to potentially go through those immunities as well. Yeah, let's find out how Eldo is going to look to respond here. We've usually had a Smicer in the th uh, second or third pick so far, say, and it's something he's been kind of relying on as well right now. Do you think it's a good option here? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, he goes for an early Rekt on this position, but definitely that Smicer. Smicer is one of the key picks that is revolving around being banned, but also every time being picked on the side of Eldo. Yeah, and we've so we had an early Ragdoll on the side of uh, Eldo there, but we've also now got an early Tian Lang pick, maybe just in a quick response straight over to him. Ooh. Ooh, that's a very interesting pick right there. We go for an Adriana, mostly paired with kind of snipe units like a Sonya, maybe a Wadaseri or anything like that. However, with a Julian, it also does pair very well because you do get the speed buff, you do get the attack buff, plus you get immunity, whereas the side of Eldo doesn't show too many strips yet. Yeah, and he also has that Oblivion in the second skill for Adrian as well. Maybe it's something that could be useful into a Smicer or a Ragdoll as we go further on. And Eldo decides to bring his own Oblivion unit with that Tazarion as well. Very interesting to see this match revolving a lot more around Oblivion, where we did have a lot of passive uh, units in the past already. So, very curious to see what kind of last pick Pafix would go for, because the kind of draft that he's showing right now, he does have an okay-ish amount of strips, but you still don't really want to be fighting that Velodule, which just provides that immunity time and time again. Exactly. Oh, he's okay. He, he didn't crit last time, but he's brought it back, say. So. I'm I'm not liking the Chows. I've never been a big Chow fan. I'm probably not going to be a big Chow fan after this match, but let's see what it does. Hopefully it can surprise us. 
Let's see right now. The bans are going to be going out. It is going to be the Adrana, and Pafix has taken out that Oblivion on the side of Eldo in Tazarion. Meaning that in the deciding set right now, we're going to have speed leads and the HP fire lead as well on the side of Eldo. It's our set number five of the Europe preliminaries. It's Pafix versus Eldo. All square. If you win, you're going through to those semifinals already guaranteed. Say those twin angels. Can you get a strip and maybe a defense break somewhere? Well, the issue is if you strip and defense break, there's Tian Lang on your field. You're probably going to be boosting up your Julian, but is Julian actually going to be taking a turn? You probably, yeah, you have to go for the skill too right now for pushbacks. Otherwise, Jin is going to take a turn. And the question is, Valajul does take a turn. So once again, the Tian Lang is actually cutting at a moment where you do not want the Tian Lang to cut. Yeah, and we've got Velajul right now. Can he land it? Another defense break. He's been very consistent so far, but resisted this time around. Resisted this time around. Let's see what Smizer can do. We are looking for a bomb, and we are looking for stun. Most likely on the Tian Lang does get both of them. Yeah, can we get some crits? We do get some damage into that Eshi right now, say. Decent amount of damage going into that Eshi, but still looking very lively as well. That is a very tanky Eshi, and also... Once again, Julian damage without an armor break. It is a good amount, but it is not an insane amount. No, it isn't. And that bomb is going to be going off soon on the Tian Lang. Will it be enough? Or can the Water Twin Angels look to prevent that? Putting up some shields. Putting up some shields, but we also have some attack bar pushbacks from that Smice. So once again, coming in, being very clutch for our Aldo. Also, do removing that shield. Still not enough damage from that Chao. We're, we're still trying to chip down one unit, which he's very much struggling with. Yep, he's trying to get rid of that Eshir, and you can see on the side of Eldo, he is going to be able to take out soon that Tian Lang. It'll be falling out from the field, either through the bomb or through no. Not through Ragdoll, but can Julian do something? Julian still can't manage to do that much. Plus, we're going to go for another round of skill 2 from the Eshir, so it's going to be another round of speed bus, another round of healing, which will make it even more difficult to kill it. Yeah, it definitely will. And right now he can sustain a little bit more through that skill one from Smicer. And getting into the bomb as well can look to land it on those Twin Angels. Yeah, probably will go for the Twin Angels. Does manage to land both. A little bit of healing once again coming in. Also landing that armor break. More healing coming in. There's just so much healing going on. Sure, we can potentially stun something right now. But you have to do that on the Velajul, which you haven't been hitting yet all match. Yeah, he's changed up his target. Then he's gone from the Eshe over to that Velajul at the moment. Say, but... Every time that Julian's taking a turn and critting, he's boosting up the whole team of Eldo. Yeah, that Ragdoll's just doing so much work, and that just also shows the sheer strength of a Ragdoll in general. There is pretty much the hardest counter on the field, which is that Tian Lang. And Eldo doesn't care. He just leaves it in, and he, he provides very good sustainable drafts that makes it uh, yeah, just getting very difficult for Fabix to get any hit in. Yeah, he's got against. He's partnered Ragdoll with three sustain units there. Uh, it just means he can survive, and Ragdoll being on that field, like you said, is just an asset to the whole team. Yeah, it absolutely is. And if we're looking at the HP bars, it looked like Pafix didn't do any damage so far. Once again, the Chow does take a decent amount of hit, but it is not the uh, Dragon Knight that has a, does have Torrent. With a Torrent, you would have killed something here, but we have Justice, and Justice is not doing that much justice for Pafix in this moment. Wow, great wordplay. That's also something out of my book there, say so I love it. We've got there the skill one. It's just going to be dealing more damage into the Chow. And right now, it's probably at low enough health to even target the Julian. Yeah, I guess you can target the Julian, but you have to keep in mind that the Chow will get a little bit of HP back. I think he was thinking to take down the Chow with that Ragdoll right now. If you go on the Chow right now, it's probably Nemesis. Does take its Nemesis. We do need a additional turn from the Chow right now, and Chow says, I am not going to do it today. Yeah, Julian is conceding now for Pafik. Your winner, Eldo, the debutant, making it through, Adam.